Good morning guys. So today, this morning, we're heading off to the W Hotel. It's a new hotel in the marina area and I'm going because I've been invited by the spa at the W to try out the new 111 skin facial. So I'm really excited about this because I've only recently kind of learned a little bit more about 111 skin. I actually had a conference, like a vet, like a conference press event with them with the two founders it's a husband and wife duo um, and the husband is actually a cosmetic surgeon and he has a clinic in Harley Street London so he is very well known and they have their own brand which I'm sure you may have heard of 111 skin I've always heard good things about the brand I've never really tried them other than their kind of like under eye masks and things and last week I tried a different dry mask, the deep buffing one, and I really, really loved it. And I tried the 111 Skin Repair Serum, which I really liked, but I only used it for two days. I'm trying to finish off what, I've, what I'm currently using so I can just get started with that. But I'm really excited about this facial. Usually I get excited about facials because obviously it's a facial and I don't, I rarely book it for myself. But because I, I've learned so much about the brand and about the skincare products, I am really genuinely like, a bit extra excited about this one so i'm excited to learn more from the therapist like you know face to face and see what she thinks is best for my skin so i actually have no idea what what kind of facial i'm getting done i have just put a bit of skin tint on which is the sunday no summer fridays summer fridays skin tint and that's about it put my cap on because i know i'm going to be coming out with the makeup and yeah i'm going to go see what that's like i've never been to this hotel so i don't know what it's like it's just recently kind of turned up like the rest of the buildings in Dubai there's just always new buildings this morning I took Nico for a walk I had my breakfast because I know I'm going for this facial and then for the rest of the day I'm at home all day and evening and I've got a lot of work to do like editing and I've got unboxing I've got reels to edit so I've got quite a bit to catch up on so I thought let me just get my steps out of the way so I went and did half an hour on the treadmill I've done around 6,500 steps, which is good. My minimum amount is eight and a half, so I'll reach that easily and if not, go over. Um, so yeah, did that. So I'm glad I've got that out of the way. I'm gonna start doing that kind of like, if I can, more often, because even if I know that I'm walking for the day, I just feel like if I can do that daily, at least, then it's just getting a whole load of steps out of the way and whatever I do extra is extra and it's, you know, a bonus. Let's uh, go see what this facial is going to be about. Hey guys, so I just had my facial and obviously I've got no makeup on but that has to be the best facial I've ever had. She did this whole gym face routine thing on my face and she was like slapping it around and everything and it was just so good. It was really good and I really liked the skincare that she used so I've taken a picture and it's kind of convinced me to start the range so I really really want to do that 
yeah i feel like this was probably the deciding factor like this really helped me to kind of like decide on whether i'm going to use more of 111 skin and she so we did the cryo depuffing facial today i cannot recommend this facial enough it was so good it was really really good she did say she said my skin's really good apart from she goes i do have a little bit of breakout which i usually get on my jawline anyway but she said that could be due to like traveling recently and everything that was amazing you know normally you fall asleep in while whilst you're having like a full body massage i i never fall asleep on a facial and on top of that it was a cryo facial so she was using those ice globe things every so often i fell asleep like I knocked out, it was just so good. That was like having a full on massage, it was so good. I would highly recommend this place. Obviously I would have put the details I think on the screen and it will be link in description, like link in my description as well, but best facial I've ever had. I would highly recommend it. So I'm gonna go grab some tea now, she's getting it ready for me, some lemongrass and ginger tea. Relax a little bit and then yeah, head off. <laughs> morning guys off to the gym again seems to be the story of my life which actually is three times a week now <laughs> feel like that's all i do going to the gym and this morning i wanted to kind of like show you my skin obviously i do have bb cream on so it's not like i have nothing on my skin i have bb cream on and a little bit of powder on top and I was really, really pleased with the facial yesterday. It went so well. It was definitely one of the best facials I had. And I just felt like my face felt and looked very sculpted. Like whatever she was doing was amazing. It was so good. I would highly recommend them. And the skincare I really like too, because sometimes when I go and have a facial afterwards, I feel like it's just very greasy and I just want to wash my face. But I didn't feel that with these skincare products. So that was a plus. So I sent over my kind of progress pictures to Luke, our PT. He's away for the month of July. So we're kind of like working with him online. And it's weird, right? So my weight hasn't actually changed one bit. It's, I think it's more or less the same. I think it's like, yeah, it's more or less the same. I had a look at the progress picture. So I put the very first picture compared to now. And I've definitely, I'm definitely smaller. So it's really bizarre because my weight hasn't changed. Obviously I'm building muscle, so that will make sense. I've probably lost some, you know, fat and gained some muscle, which is great. But it just kind of goes to show that you shouldn't always just look at what's on the scale, which I kind of knew anyway, but when you're not working out as much as say, for example, I am now, I used to look at the scale a bit more because I knew that, okay, I'm not really building major muscle right now. So, you know, the weight loss on the scale is kind of, I'm not gonna say accurate, but gives me some better indication, you know, because I'm not in the process of building muscle. So it does give you some indication on like, whether you're losing weight. But yeah, while I've been working out, it's, I'm not stressing about it because I feel like, like I said, I know I'm working really hard in the gym and I'm kind of building muscle. So I'm not stressing out too much about the fact that the number isn't going down on the scale. You know, my main thing is, as long as I feel like I look, like I'm happy with the way I look, that's my main thing. So if I end up getting to the shape and size that I want to get to, and I'm still the same way, I'd be totally cool with that. So yeah, let's see where it goes. I sent off my photos this morning to Luke. It's like once a week and 
we'll see what he says. And I'm still on my 2,000 calories a day. Like, I'm really hoping he doesn't tell me to increase it. Because I've already increased it, obviously, from like 1,800. But let's see what he says. I'm just looking forward to that day where he says, okay, now I feel like we can start cutting and maybe reduce it just a little bit. Because then I know, I feel like then I'll start kind of like, you know, it'll be a bit like, it'll just be a bit speedy in comparison to what it is now. But yeah, I'm trying not to kind of like rush it and just going with it so that he can figure out what my body's like and, and everything. So yeah, that's basically the kind of sum up of the fitness situation at the moment. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've just been filming, trying to like catch up with videos for YouTube. Today my like lower back is aching a bit. I guess like every time I'm going and I'm doing squats and things like that, like I'm not used to it so it's going to take time for my muscles to kind of be a bit stronger to help give me that support there as well. I'm just trying to be really careful when I do the, these things, especially because Luke's not with us at the moment. Anyway, we're going to head to the gym now. The rest of the day I'm just filming and uh, kind of catching up with work really. I've got a lot of editing to do as well, like reels and stuff like that. I'm actually looking at changing a couple of things on my beauty channel, like in terms of the way I do shorts and everything. And I'm excited to get started on that. I think end of the month I've got a bit of time where I can actually, where I need to kind of uh, schedule new ones in. So I'm excited to kind of get them out and see what you guys think of them. I've been having to think about, you know, what I could do. If there's anything you want to see over in terms of shorts for the vlog channel, let me know. Like, I don't know, maybe outfit stuff or unboxing of like shoes, clothes, bags, whatever. Or I think that's a good idea. Let me know what your thoughts are on outfits, styling and things like that. And maybe I'll do some shorts for that on uh, this channel here. And then we can see how that goes and then maybe even start doing videos of like you know zara hauls or like things that i've bought or how to style certain things you know i'm not a pro stylist at all by any means but i think i'm like I i'm happy with how i style myself and i do get quite a few comments from you guys over on my instagram like you know i like your outfit that you put together and everything so all it is is me sharing my knowledge for myself if in case it kind of helps any of you guys so yeah, let me know and I'm going to get on with the gym and I'll see you soon.